Hey, what's up, guys? Film Geek here, and last, or yesterday, I should say, um, I watched The Strangers. Uh, watched this with my parents, and my mom apparently thought it was scary, because she screamed, like, two or three times during the course of this movie. Um, I, however, didn't think it was all that scary. I thought it was a pretty, pretty cool story. Um, it stars Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman, um, who, I believe Scott Speedman was from, uh, Felicity... Uh, he played one of one of the Bens uh, in the TV show Felicity, um, and uh, these two excuse me are a couple that they come uh, they they leave a friend's wedding and come home together, and you find out that he, the Scott Speedman character has proposed to Liv Tyler's character, and she said no. Um, and while they're here at this house kind of dealing with that bit of drama, um, they get some nice, uh, scary, mask-wearing, murderous fiends, um, tormenting the shit out of them. Um, it is a very cool movie, very cool premise, some very nice scares in the movie. My big fault with the film, however, is that the entire thing is shot handheld. It's ba it's very very good looking video um, um, film. It, I think it was actually a film camera. It looks like film, uh, but the the style of it they never they never put it on any kind of support. There are no tripod scenes. There are a few scenes that look like they are supposed to be a dolly scene, but you can tell by the shaking of the camera that it was still done handheld, um, and it just kind of bugged me the the fact that like the entire scene always has like this little shake to it you know um sometimes that works like i'm a big fan of the tv show glee and they use that in most of its most episodes of glee are, are pretty much handheld and i think it works for that but for this it doesn't, didn't really work for me and i understand the reasoning they give you that that little bit of motion to try and make the audience feel even more uneasy than they already do, but I think the soundtrack alone accomplishes that. There's this one sequence when Liv Tyler is like running away when she first sees the mask people and ends up not bumping into the uh, the record player and it skips. It plays this same like high pitched sequence like a gazillion times in about a minute and a half that totally makes you uneasy as um, I don't think that they, like, the soundtrack does such a good job of keeping the intensity up. I didn't think that they needed to, to add this whole shaking thing, where it was, it was literally like this, like how you're seeing me right now is pretty much how the entire movie was, like from start to back. I think the steadiest it ever got was this, but it was, you can see it's still, I'm still shaking a little bit, um... But yeah, it was like that, the entire freaking movie, and it really, really bothered me. And because of that, I'm bumping The Strangers, what could have been, like, a 4 out of 5 movie, because, uh, as my tripod gives out. I'm talking about tri about support, and mine's not even working properly. Um, what could have been a 4 out of 5 movie, because of that weird shake the entire time, I'm going to give Strangers only a 3 out of 5. It was good, but it was just, just kind of bugged me. Sorry.